winning. No gunshots, but they getting low, 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 low. Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna be working on getting stuff set up for the pig and beef farm which I have decided is going to go right over here. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to get everything together in the folder, as well as we have to change some doors and whatnot on here, <coughs> um, changing this walkthrough door and then all of the shed doors over at the starter farm. And then... Um, then we'll get all the buildings together for the pig farm and then we'll go from and then that'll be all for this video and then in the next video it, we will actually like assemble the pig farm and the pig pig beef farm uh, they're both going to be on that same farm and then we'll get get them scripted in and test them out and whatever um, but for now we're going to work on this right here so we're going to duplicate and cut that from there we're going to put it in workshop we're going to let's see door trigger one nope uh, I want that okay so we're going to copy the coordinates for that So I think we just need to put these at zero here. Well, this needs to be 90, I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we can drop this down right about there. We'll slide it back a little bit as well, right to there. Okay, so we need to adjust Okay. We need to adjust the size of the door. And then this can come down, I think right about there, oh, no, a little bit farther. Okay, there we go. So now we can delete this door, and now we have a working door there. So I'm going to select this, and I need to close my window. So now we can duplicate this door, cut, come on, cut, get rid of that, and go to starter farm, okay, and then it will go, the first one underneath of 56 by 72 shop, and... Hopefully everything will fit better this way here. <coughs> yep, we just need to adjust the scale on it, I think. So this is one point. Well, let's just let's just try using the sizing from this one. Cool that worked perfectly 
and this is a way nicer door so cool okay now we just do it for this one Alright, that was way easier. It helps, I believe, that these are all, like, the same sized. Or, like, similar setups and stuff, so that always helps. Assuming this, yeah, these two doors are the same size. So, bada bing, bada boom. And there we go, we got some new doors. We'll also have light in the shop now. Because we have nicer windows. Okay, so now that that is done, we will hop on over here. We're going to close that and save it. And then we can close that. Okay, so now I need to go to my hard drive, my external hard drive, and get the folder. Um, let's see, there wasn't anything in here, was it? Large shed. No, I don't want that. I actually don't want that period. Um, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of FS17 stuff in here. I want to bring down to 15. I just haven't yet. Um, we need maps. I believe it's... Is it map 02? No, map 01. It's map 01 that I want, which is Goldcrest Valley. So we're going to pick out a farmhouse here and get that brought down to 15. And then we'll pick out some sheds and stuff, copy some stuff, paste some stuff, get some things figured out here. Uh, so while that's loading up, we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy the things that we need um, out of our farmyard, one of our farms here. So we need fuel tank and mailbox. Those two are what we need. So we'll paste those into there. I don't believe that there's anything in the starter farm folder that we need. Corn crib. Uh, we could use the Quonset. We can use that for bale storage. Maybe. We'll see. I haven't quite decided what I want to use for bale storage yet, so. Okay, so I want a house that isn't too big and one that I have not used already. Hmm, that one's nice, but I'd like it to have a garage on it. It would be nicer with a garage. Unless I can find like a garage building. Like a building where it's just a garage. And then put that on there. That house is way too ginormous for what I want. That house I may use for like the large, large farm. But even then I don't don't think that I'm going to use this one because that thing is just overly huge uh, that's a nice little building it's got all kinds of supplies on it <laughs> I don't know what that is our house here no I think. Uh, excuse me. 
I think the only place I'm going to find a house is in here. I just, I want like one that I haven't used yet because I don't want the same houses everywhere. This is the dealership. The words come off. They do. Man, no. I want the signs. Oh, but they're baked in. That kind of sucks. I was thinking about exporting this and using this for the dealership, but I don't want it to say Morgan's Massive Motors. There we go. Here's a house. I don't think I've used that one. Have I? Mm, let's look here. Look through the photos quick. Just see if I've used that one. Uh, that one's similar, just on everything's on the other side. Mm, yeah, I used that house there. Okay, so the one house that I was thinking that I used, I didn't? Or what? I don't know, I'm confused here. Okay, you know what, we're gonna just gonna go with this blue house. I like the way that it looks. So, we're going with it. And we're going to delete the lighting and the collision. And then just select the visual. Farmhouse. Extracting it to my desktop, to that folder. Calling it house. Dang it, I exp... Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Okay. Um, let's just see if there's anything else on here for this farm that could potentially be nice. I'm not saying that there's much of anything, but... I guess it's worth taking a peek at. I like how they have that garden set up. Oh, well. Emerson's Livestock Market. That might make a good... S uh... Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else on here that I want. Um, I believe I might have some other stuff on here. Hmm, I know I downloaded. I might be here. I know I downloaded, uh, Randoms, whatever it is, Central Valley or whatever the heck it's called. I don't know what happened to that. Might be a couple buildings to take off of there. Actually, I think I'm going to bring this large shed back. Because I think it was actually pretty nice. I just got to remember. I think I was just going to put like different doors on it. And we're going to bring this thing to the center because it does me no good where it's at. 
Uh, yeah, I kind of want to take the sliding doors off, but I know that then it would look kind of goofy if I threw like a roll-up door on there. Well, maybe not. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So the only thing we got here is the shed. And that's... Oh, but it's going to be like five different materials. Isn't it? Hey, I was actually exactly correct. Yeah, I don't know. That seems like more work than it's worth. So yeah, that can just go right back in there. Um, I know this map was made mostly out of, like, FS-15 objects, so I doubt there's going to be much of anything on here that I actually want. Oof, that's a big shed. This thing is massive. If I scaled it down, it would probably make a good hay shed. Might be something to think about, possibly. Neat little anhydrous tanks. Um, 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 um. Not seeing much of anything I want to add. Fire station. This grass texture does look nice and realistic, though. Looks like it has, like, wheat growing in it or something. It's kind of weird. That is a sail barn. Yeah, it's like mostly FS-15 objects. Oh, this is the house that you can actually go in, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Maybe we should put this. I think we'll do this for like the large farm or something. Yeah. Because that'll make a good house. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what other maps I can take some stuff off of. We do have these sheds. Those could work. I do have one on there already. Because let me look here. Um... Repair shop, second shop, models, 2K map object. So if I just change that entire thing, okay. So, what I'm going to do is we'll put these ones in there. Those will make good shops. And then I'll just basically copy the doors off of this one and I, cl I closed everything I didn't want to do that um, back to here and back to parts weather guard transfer tank I don't know what that is um I don't think there's anything on there. I'm trying to remember where in the heck I put like Central Valley and stuff. Let's go to this PC. Central. Or maybe I'll put in Valley. No. How about central? Hmm. I guess not. Okay, so we've got two sheds. We got the American hog and beef barns. 
Uh, I might put that building on there. Let's go to American Eagles modding. And go look at some buildings. This is usually where I go to find buildings. <laughs> Map objects. So we have a 50 by 80 barn. Uh, I want to download that to throw into the beef pen and the pig pen, I guess. Let's check out check out these two here. Uh, shed pack. You can look at that. Okay, so we'll download this. Uh, Let's bring up bigger images for these two. The building has working doors. Is this one? The buildings have working doors. Whoa. So this is a 52 by 72, and this is a 40 by 60, so we probably want the big one. And now, what's in this? I guess we'll check it out. And then I guess I'm on my third download of that. I don't know. I don't remember it, but hey, who knows? Um, okay, so. Oh, yeah, I do remember downloading this before as well. Shed pack. We'll take a look at that. We're at 21 minutes. Okay. So we're going to extract all these to their own separate folders. We can close that now. So let's take a look at this machine shed. So what do we got? We got white and green. We got tan and gray, red and gray, and red. So let's check out white, white and green and tan and gray. <laughs> so this is white and green. Because I want, I like to have each farm have its own kind of color coordination, you could call it. Like how, you know, the starter farm has a um, red and white. The second farm has like tan and tan and brown or something like that. It's like this farm could be maybe possibly white. Let's see. So yeah, not not tan and gray because that's what the one farm is. Um, and then we have red and gray. What's that one like? We might go with the white and green. Ooh. Okay. I'm liking that one. I mean, I guess I don't have to fully decide right now either. We can decide for the next video. But we can throw that in there. Uh, let's check out what in the world this all is. I'm not exactly sure what this all is. Aside from being slow and loading. Okay, so what's this here? So this is side underscore door. Okay, so is that supposed to be like a trigger? Yeah. Okay. Whoa, that is a massive building. It's got a door in there, even. CCC -C -C with room. This is CCC. -C -C. So what's the difference? Oh. Just this one has the concrete up front. This door is cool. But that's like a... That's a building for the this 
These are buildings for like the large farm probably. Yeah, these are oh, there's a little bump out there. It's kind of neat. But yeah, those are sheds for the big farm. So I'm just going to delete it for now. Get out of my way. So that's everything that we need. So now we just need to bring this down to 15 and we will be all set. Select viz, file, export the selection as an OBJ and call it house. We'll go there. We don't need this and we don't need that. Actually, yes, we do because we need to keep this open. I forgot about that. And then we need to... Because we just need it to figure out which materials we need. But I can delete these now. Okay, and we'll import the OBJ file for house. Import that and then we need to scale everything down so this is add-ons this is house and these are windows and then everything is going to go underneath of house I don't know if doing it this way okay that did scale everything down cool beans so select the house, new material, calling it house. We can go like that, drag this over, get that into UV. Open textures, go Chris Valley. Okay, so then residential buildings, diffuse. So into texture mode, we should be the right color. Yes. So we will go here, here, open, here, buildings. Add-ons. And then that is going to be the building details diffuse. So now we can close this as well. Um, and then we just need to do the windows. Um, building, windows, diffuse. That's what we need. Alright, and there we have it. So we'll just hit A couple of times file export giants i3d we will replace the old house i3d close that now if we pop this open um i want to just get rid of all this stuff and we're gonna go textures forward slash this is gonna be 10 this is gonna be 10 this is gonna be 10 this needs to be zero, zero, zero. Which you can also change these in Giants Editor. And I'll actually leave the one on the house. And I can show you guys that. So we'll put this back at 50. And then I'll show you guys how to change that as well. So we'll save that. And then we're going to go in here. And we just need diffuses for everything. So everything else can be deleted all we need is these three files paste those there get rid of that textures move everything into there get rid of that open this up all 
All right, we got the house. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the house. We're gonna go to window, material editing, and here you see it. Specular color, so we want zero, 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 and our cost power to be 10. That's all we gotta do with the house. Now the house is ready to rock and roll on the map. So that is all for this video, guys. In the next video, we will work on putting that together. Um, and getting everything scripted and ready to rock and roll. <clears throat> and then we'll see then if there's any new buildings that I want to add or anything like that. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.